نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله माई डियर स्टूडेंट एज यू नो वेरी वेल वी हैव रीड फ्रॉम जा टू दुआद इन आवर प्रीवियस क्लास एंड आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दैट लेसन how to say them and how to pronounce them my dear students today we will start fourth lesson of nurani qaida inshallah in this lesson we will study from ta to fa ta to fa okay Let's start it. In this lesson, first letter we have ta. Remember, it's ta. Ta has no dot. Ta is a heavy letter. Ta pronounced with thick sound. Okay. Let's see the makhraj of ta. My dear students, remember ta comes out from the tip of the tongue and the roots of the upper front teeth. You can see from here. Okay? Like ta like t sound. My dear students, some people pronounce it toy and ta. So both are incorrect. The correct pronunciation is ta, ta, like t sound. Okay. Now I read and you try after me. Ta. We can stretch this lateral equal to one second. Ta. Okay. After ta, the next lateral we have wa. It's wa. Okay. Wa is a soft lateral. Wa has one toe on top. Okay, let's see the makhraj of wa. Wa comes out from the top of the tongue and the inner edge of the upper teeth. Okay, now I read and you try after me. Wa, wa. We can stretch this letter equals to one second, like wa, wa, like z sound, but softly because wa is a soft letter. Wa, wa. My dear students, have you noticed? Ta and Zwa have same shape. As I had told you, dots are very important because we can make difference them by their dot. Just remember, Ta has no dot and Zwa has one dot. So don't be confused by their shape. Okay? 
After tra, the next letter we have ain. Ain. Remember, it's ain. Ain has no dot. Let's see the makhraj of ain. Ain comes out from the middle part of the throat. Okay, from here you can see. Now I read and you try after me. Ain, ain. My dear students, some people pronounce it n, so it's incorrect. The correct pronunciation is ain. Okay, after Ain, the next letter we have Ghain. Remember, it's Ghain. Ghain has one dot on top. Ghain is a heavy letter. Let's see the makhraj of Ghain. Ghain comes out from the upper part of the throat. From here, you can see. Okay? My dear students, some people pronounce it Gain. Gain. So it's incorrect. The correct pronunciation is Ghain. Now I read and you try after me. Ghain. Ghain. My dear students, have you noticed Ghain and Ghain have same shape? So don't be confused by their shape. Just remember dots. As I had told you, dots are very important because we can make difference them by their dot. And you just remember, Ain has no dot while Ghain has one dot on top. Okay? So my dear student, after Ghain, the next letter we have F. Remember, it's F. F has one dot on top. Okay, let's see the makhraj of fa. Fa start using tip of two front teeth touching inner part of lower lip. From here you can see. Now I read and you try after me. Fa. Okay. So my dear student, now I read once again from start to. Okay. The first letter we have ta, the, ain, ain, fa. So my dear students, I hope you understand today's lesson. You practice it again and again. Inshallah, we will see you soon with next lesson. Take care. Fiyamanillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.